Hey traders, good afternoon. This is Naveen Suha. This is my another video on my oldest product, the GAN grid, the dynamic GAN grid or GAN grid. Uh, we have a tool about that. And uh, today, the information about the how the divider, how the two parameter works, uh, like uh, the dividers, price divider, and scale. My GAN grid is one of unique features which will have a right scale. If you know about your chart scale, your chart time frame and uh, their scales, so you can put manually here. See, I am using the 1.2 scale. Okay, 1.2 scale and H1 time frame. And keep keep in your mind, here is a five digit broker. If you have a four digit broker, so it not works. It need to be delete a one zero. That time only the 1.2 scale will be occurred. Okay, so right now my scale is here. If you have a broker of 3196, not a five digit after a decimal, so you need to be decrease the one more zero. Okay, so uh, if you are going with the gold and silver, that time you need to place like something like that. If your scale is one, so you need to put 0 0.1. If your scale is two, you need to put a 0 0.2. Or if your scale is 1.2, so 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 1, 5, whatever. Okay. So there is a part of scale. And see the how it will be works. And uh, see, suppose here is a 4 digits, 5 digit broker and 1, 2. Right. Let me place. You need to click on any high or low. Okay. Or you can click on 3 high low. The my idea is one major highest high and one lowest low only. Okay, look at that. See, the point is the scale value is moving here and there. Okay, it's almost flat. I just deleted a zero. Okay, right now it's uh, my own scale. See, so right now that's your accurate and that's your fine grid. Sorry, need to be uh, place the first click from low, switch to falling, click on high, intersection point, the turning points, as well as the uh, uh, excellent support and resistance area. Here is C, the resistance value and support value occurred here. When it's properly testing, like here, like here, so you need to place one more click at that time. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so there is another the double value. I mean, sometimes uh, market test and uh, move down or upside. So you need to be uh, like a demand and supply you are using. So that time a multiple supports unit. Okay. So sometimes it breaks and immediately come back to after some point, some high or low. So that's your grid. And how the calculating the grid? See, I go to delete all. Right now, I think uh, scale chapter is uh, completed. So let me try on gold. Gold or uh, JPPY, JPY. Okay, JPY. Again, dynamic grid. Dynamic grid. Okay, there is a JPY. See, the default scale or the four, the digit zero. And see, it's completely flat. Because of decimals, I am deleting that one. Right now also the five digit, three digit on backside, and it's a five digit broker. And see, I am just delete one zero. Is slightly better up. Okay. Because of three zero, and there is a no part. Now, it's perfect for you. Okay, because we are using last decimal, last point, last point, and uh, it's 0.5 scale. So you can increase that one 0 0.9, 0 0.8, or 0 0.1, like that also. It's a double of 0.5. That's your scale. One is to one scale, whatever you we are using and n methods. So it's a one is to one scale, and 0 0.01 is your grid scale. Okay, so you can plot anywhere. It's a very lowest low and highest high market has occurred. Sorry, it's a rising one. 
So there is a rising angle and there is a switching to switch to falling angle. Okay, we make a grid here. Now check check it out. Mark it perfectly. Take a support, go offside. See one more low here, and we are just place the second low and right now. It's more accurate than that. Okay, now placing here something because uh, it's a previous low, so you can place a recent only. It's a 30 minute, go to 15 minute time frame or H1 time frame. H1 time frame. Okay, let's do it. It's a lowest low. Okay, see the high 2.5%. Okay, so there is another idea 2.5 percent. What it is uh, basically, we converted our percentage tool, percentage tool with a scale, so it perform a grid with a time a price a price percentage, and it's also including a scale. So it's a, a unique tool behind that, and a unique tool uh, developed by me uh, because here is you have a two types of value. One is a percentage, and second is a scale. So right now your grid is absolutely perfect. There is uh, default grid uh, values here, uh, some default uh, default grids on MT4, MT5, but uh, it's not working like that. See the intersection point of two grids percentage here. You can check the intersections also. Okay, let me zoom out and let's go to. See, I think scale value is clear, 1.5 or 0.8. If you need a 0.8 or 7 scale, you can use that one. Or simply, people are using 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2, 1.5, 1.5 or uh, 1 is to 1, 2 is to 2. Okay, so like that. So don't be puzzled with that. It's uh, obvious parameters. So you don't need uh, to confuse here. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can use whatever you want. Okay, or simply, you can use 1 is to 1 scale. Would you use the JPO here? Okay, let me place a gold chart here. Or Bitcoin or gold. Uh, or both are not uh, more different. Bitcoin have a completely high price. See what happened in gold. Gold not working with that. Because gold have the four decimal in front of and uh, two decimal in last. So gold, I am just going down and just place here only one. It's one is to one of gold. See, it's right now, it's absolute grid you have. So simply click one low and switch to falling. Go to back and one high. See, the value price divider is gap between the price divider is very less tiny space in there and time frame you h one time frame. It works okay. It works on 15 minutes perfectly. See the space is good for you, but sometimes we need to be engaged the scale space. Reason is a gold script. If it is currency, it goes. Otherwise, it's not good. I'm using the 480. It's a price divider of 360. Simply, you can use two dividers. 360 divided by 8, 45 degree. Okay, 45 plus. 90, 135, 180, 225, 270, 315, 360, 405, 48, 495. Okay, so uh, or their halves, their half value, 45 plus uh, like uh, 360 plus 45, right? Plus 2.25, 427, 405 plus 60, 485. Okay, don't be confused in that. So, you can use 360 dividers, multiple of 360 and divider of 360, multiple by 2, 720, 360, sorry, divided uh, divide by 2, 180 you can use. So, first we can use 180, okay, simple, completely simple, use a divider of 360 value, okay, the more wider grade is there, or we can use directly 360, the default parameter is 480. I tell you why it is. Right now, it's a perfect grid. 
and go to falling. There is a high. That's a file falling grid. Okay. Now it's a perfect grid for your till now. It works fine. Okay. Or you want to use from here low every low and high. So recent low and high is uh, important than the previous. Okay. So right now it's gold chart and the another divider is multiple of <coughs> eight. And just do, uh, place the one eight plus eight sixteen twenty four thirty two forty eight these values, okay seventy two, or eight multiply right these value. The gain side eight multiply by two multiply by two sixteen two thirty two sixty four one twenty eight. 256, 512. Okay, let me use 256 in gold. 256. Or use the JPY. Means JPY pair, major pairs we 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 can use. Okay, there is a divider of. It's a 15 minute time frame. Top at intersection point. Okay, let me here is exact testing. And let's do it with that. Here is also another low, right? So two fifty six, and it's a multiplier of that five one two. You can use or uh, simply half of that means two fifty six plus sixty four. Two fifty six plus sixty four, three twenty. So you can use three twenty. It's smallest one. See the support area here, 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 here. So get then uh, the grid is perfectly working fine. So right now, uh, now playing with falling angle. See, it's uh, performed beautifully, and it's perfectly works on every wear. Now go to any chart. JPY already I saw in. Okay. Now 15 minute and go to one hour time frame. Right now, it's also a continue trending market. See the scale, the gold scale is not perfect for here. Need to place any cell one zero. Here is a three digit, so you can use one or point one. Okay, and price divider is also small, so need to decrease to fifty six or one twenty eight, one twenty eight. Okay, if price divider because it's a H one time frame, market moving so high, so it's a one twenty eight. Also, you can add the sixty two more, one twenty eight, one twenty eight plus sixty four, one ninety two. So these dividers work. Multiply by eight also works, and three sixty dividers also works. You can use. Don't be confused. Both are excellent parameters. Both are excellently performed. So don't worry about it accuracy and all. It works fine. Both are. Okay. So use the JPY. Uh, let me check the use the JPY, use the JPY, JPY, JPY. Okay. See, high testing, low testing. Okay, the lowest low, and then I'll switch to falling as well. The values here and there with the price and time zero with the time and percentage. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you guys. I uh, hope you understand all the parameters. There is a two important parameter inside of that. Otherwise, no other parameters. So you can use eight multiple or three sixty dividers or multiples. Okay, eight multiple, eight into two, into two, into two, into two, into two. Okay, and is there divider and half half value of any parameter? I mean five to one, and you can add sixty four in that or thirty two in that or eight in that. So these parameters works fine. 
ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच